Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan James Tan from paultan.org and of course you remember our driven guest host Megan Tan. Hey guys, it feels great to be back and you are watching Ask the Experts and to kick things off today we've got the Petronas Fuel Expert Mr. Chan Ming Yao. Hello Mr. Chan. Hi Megan, hi John. Please do call me just Chan, that's fine. our readers at paultan.org send in their questions and a lot of them are curious about the ties with Mercedes AMG Petronas F1 team. Yeah, especially uh, this season, we see the Premax logo very often on the F1 cars. Uh, so, but surely, the fuel that you use in the race can't be the same fuel that we can buy in petrol stations, right? Well, well that's a good question, John. Uh, we've been involved in Formula 1 uh, for a much longer time than the Premax uh, sticker has been on the car. Mm. Uh, but whenever we do uh, Formula 1 fuels, the FIA has a regulation and the regulation states that we have to use components we are naturally found already in commercial fuels, so banned on substances which are power boosting. And so essentially, commercial fuels and Formula 1 fuel are very similar. Um, for that, we, we would like to say um, it's the same uh, components but different composition. You know, in a way, it's very much like a shirt. Uh, we tailor make a shirt for the Formula One car, as it were, and we use the same philosophy and the same materials for a ready made shirt. That's a really great analogy. So, what you're saying is that the fuel we use from local stations are close to the ones used by Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg in F1. Yes, indeed. Uh, in fact, both fuels are very similar. Um, in F1, for example, uh, this year especially, um, efficiency is a new measurement of performance. And in commercial fuels, we've seen uh, our customers wanting also efficiency. I would like also to drive with the most efficient fuel out there. Well, next up, the next question is to do with modern engine technologies. I mean, we've seen lots of cars on the roads today having lots of the latest technologies, including direct injection and even the downsizing trend where we see smaller engines fed by forced induction like turbocharging. Surely all these technologies require higher quality fuel. Yes, you are right, John. Uh, moving from uh, carburetors to port fuel injection and now to direct fuel injection, it really requires greater complexity in the chemistry that we're working on. For example, in direct injection, the holes are a whole lot smaller and they are multiple um, and they are only a few times the size uh, larger than a human hair. Uh, the pressures, they are working a few hundred times atmosphere. Right, so how does Petronas Premax cope up with that? Well, Megan, I'll bring you back again to the Formula 1 involvement. Uh, for Formula 1, uh, we're working with a 1.6-litre turbocharged direct injection engine. And this is very similar to our everyday vehicles. So Petronas Premax has been designed to ensure that it works even in this direct injection engine. The multiple holes, the high pressure, clear of deposits. We would like to think that the Formula 1 is a test bed for all our work, tested chemistries there. So this is bringing the learnings that we have and the technologies from Formula 1 from the track to the road. That's great to know. You know, that's really great to know. I personally am more of a carburetor kind of guy. Yeah, but that's we, good to know nonetheless. We all know that because you know why John here drives a very old school Beetle. But John, that's perfectly <laughs> fine because carburetor cars, port fuel injection cars, or even direct injection vehicles, we've covered a lot because we've looked at the most complex, the most advanced technology out there. Oh, that's great. So you haven't forgotten about no, old we have school not guys about like John. John at all. <laughs> not at all. Well, okay, Mr. Chana, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for your insights. Thank you. Everybody, the Petronas Fuel Expert, Mr. Chan Ming Yao. Yeah, thank you so much. Join us again next episode of Ask the Experts where we will be talking about lubricants. Thanks for watching.